Hi, and welcome to the Health Begins with Moms show. I am Dorit Pavanov, your host. On this podcast, I will share insights and interviews on health, parenting, and explore the question of what does it take to thrive as women, wives, and mothers. Now, let's get going with today's episode. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Health Begins With Mom podcast. This is Dorit Palvanov, your host. Today on the show, I wanted to give you a better glimpse into the Health Begins With Mom Mastery program, which is now open for enrollment, as well as an exciting testimonial from a client of mine who will share how it is to work with me and go through this process as well. I believe that true healing begins with moms taking the stands for themselves. True healing begins with mothers who believe that they are worthy and deserve to feel good in their own body and skin. True healing begins with mothers who are ready and willing to do the work that is necessary to get themselves unstuck. True healing begins with mothers who own their side of the story and are working constantly to break free from generational patterns that are threatening to re-emerge in the lives of their children. True healing begins with moms who teach their daughters by example what it means to be a woman, how to embody femininity and live in alignment with their feminine current, flow and rhythm. The health of the world begins with us, mothers, who are ready to surrender and trust that the, that the universe will conspire to give you more of what you want. All you need to do is show up and say yes. Health begins at home with mothers bringing the message of health and healing into their home. By doing this, we change our homes, we change our communities and the world at large. It all begins with mom, one mama taking the stand. If you have no idea how to do that, all you need to do is ask for help. Ask to be guided and follow through. Reach out your hand and follow me. I will show you how to get there. This is what I want for myself more than anything. This is what I want for my clients and my daughters as well. Are you ready to be a part of something great? You are divine. You are magic. You are a child of God. You are worthy. You deserve to feel good. You deserve to enjoy this precious life that you have and the lives that you have brought into this world. The Health Begins With Mom Mastery is designed to get you to the other side. Today, I wanted to give you a little snapshot into the process and the core content of the Health Begins With Mom Mastery program, as well as a short interview, like I mentioned, that I've done with a client of mine who is currently enrolled in the, in the mastery program. So let's dive in. So the content of this program is divided into four phases, which correspond to the phases of your menstrual menstrual cycle and are also known as the four phases of creation. So um, in the past, I've uh, podcast about them uh, and I call them the fertile void, emergence, visibility, and culmination. So we begin the process with the fertile void, which is a period of deep introspection, a period of looking inward and setting yourself up for success. We're going to talk about your morning routine, how to start your day right, what to eat first thing in the morning, and how to keep your energy sustainable throughout the entire day. We'll also get into some rituals that you can use to help yourself start the day right. So things like journaling and yoga, meditation, and many more. I'm going to hold you accountable throughout this entire process and make sure that you pace yourself with grace and that you are being kind to yourself, but also that you are moving forward. So expect me to call you out if I feel like you are not showing up your very best. This is the point of working with a coach, right? It's like you have some, you have a goal in mind, um, but you don't know how to get there. So the coach is going to provide you with the framework, but also the guidance, right? So it's almost like imagine 
your child learning to ride a bike in the beginning there's going to be a lot of hand holding a lot of direction and then eventually you're going to let them go we're also going to talk about your power as a manifester and creator of your life and what does it have to do with your healing and mothering journeys um this work is truly magical and there are a lot of aha moments that come out for women uh, during this time. The next phase we will get into is called the emergence, which is when we will get deeper into unpacking you as a female and start practicing embodied femininity. I'll teach you how to track yourself, how to pace your, yourself, and how to listen to the wisdom of your body. Again, I'm here to guide, to guide and hold your hand the entire time and help point you in the right, in the right direction, but the work is yours. We will hone the food, the exercise, the socialization pieces, and actually practice it in real time. You know, because there is a difference between knowing or understanding a concept and actually embodying it. Um, and also, of course, living your life and organizing your life in alignment with it, which is, I think, the point of all of this process. You will get access to my members area where I share recipes that are categorized according to your menstrual cycle and what you should be eating in each phase. Now, I've designed and created these recipes with you in mind, which I think this is how this program is really standing out from anything that is out there. Because I know that you are busy and I also know that cooking is not a priority or something that you enjoy doing. So all the recipes uh, inside of the mastery program are super easy to put together and are also family friendly. I really wanted to create something that will be of service to us busy mothers who don't have a lot of free time to cook and figure out what to eat. So all you have to do is figure out where you are in your cycle and click to find the recipes that you need to cook for yourself during that time. It's really easy and simple like that. Um, so I created it this way because I want this entire process to be sustainable. I want this to be practical and I want you to feel like it is attainable for you. The last thing I want is to overwhelm you with complicated ingredients and recipes because I know that, you know, because you're busy, you're just not go going to follow through. And I really, really want you to, to, to do the work. Um, and so I know, I know that as a coach, I have to um, do my part to help you get to, you know, to the other side with ease and flow, right? So ease and flow is the name of the game in, inside of this program. Another thing we'll get to is accessing your essential energy, which is a part of feminine embodiment. We'll do some really cool practices that will literally turn you on, ignite you from within to help you feel alive, vibrant, and magnetic in your days. I know this charm and magnetism are necessary to feel like you're thriving instead of surviving. Working on this phase usually takes the most time, so be prepared to stay here for about three to four months of the entire process, which is six months in total. The next phase is visibility, which is where I push you to do harder things because, um, you know, if you remember, visibility is the time that you have the most energy. This is when you're ready to really show up uh, and um, show what, what it is that you have embodied, right? So things like emotional mastery, the work of Byron Katie, will do some work to help you heal the mother wound, which I talked a lot about on this podcast. Um, you know, and these things, they're heavy, they're deep healing um, practices um, that we, you know, that in order to get them, you literally need to have the energy in your body. So before we get to the heavy stuff, we really need to make sure that you have um you know, that you know how to create energy, but also sustain it. We'll also talk about how to be, um, you know, your husband's wife 
uh, or partner and not his mother. So we'll get to talk a little bit about relationships and how to show up as a mother, as a wife. Um, and also how to raise fierce, confident daughters and how to enroll your loved ones into your health mission, which becomes really important um, because you are not alone, right? You are living in... Um, in a family, within a family, and you know you are the son of this family, but still you need to learn how to get everybody around you in a way that feels harmonious and um, of course feels like it's flowing and there are not a lot of contradictions and head to head. So the next phase is called culmination and this is where we will be wrapping up our work together and I'll be um, and I'll help you to launch into the world without me. Now, I know this sounds silly, but the idea here is to help you to be self-sufficient and fly with whatever you've learned in this program without developing this codependent relationship, which often happens when you work with somebody over a long period of time. Now, the reason I do this program long, because I know that as a busy mother, um, you don't have time. Uh, to work on things and you also need to be to feel okay with you know hiccups that will happen along the way uh, you know because let's be realistic we are busy we're raising kids we're taking care of our careers of our work of our marriages there are a lot of things uh, we have on our plates uh, and in order to really change and um, do the work we need the time so this is the reason the program is long, relatively long, as opposed to some other programs that are out there, you know, that are six weeks or uh, 12 weeks long. I don't work like this with clients because I don't think that it works. Um, this program is designed to give you transformative experience. Like you will experience transformation. There's going to be a lot of aha moments in the program, in this process, um, but at the end of it, I want you to be able to rise up and literally grow up so that you can show up to your life the way that you need and want to. This program is designed to crack you open, to uh, shake you up and show you how to listen, how to understand and how to support yourself as a woman, as a wife and as a mother. It is also about showing you that the responsibility is in your hands and that you know how to change. You know how to adapt, how to course correct, and how to draw the right conclusions about where your life is going and the messages that are being sent to you from your higher self and your psyche. This process is also a highly individualized coaching program, giving you the accountability, the support, and the one-on-one -on -one attention to achieve your health goals that scare you the most. And in order to provide this high-level support, I'm currently only working with women who are willing and ready to do the work needed to achieve their goals. Even if this means feeling scared, uncomfortable, or just really unsure. The Hell Begins With Done Mastery is now open for enrollment. So if all of this resonates with you and you're ready to jump in and join the mastery, then please go um, head on over to www.healthbeginswithmom.com forward slash apply and fill out the application form. After you submit an application, I will personally review it and we will get on the phone to see if we are right for each other. I look forward to reading your story and your soul cravings. Um, and I really think that this is your time. This is your time to change, especially now that it's September, kids are back to school. This is the time to take care of you. All right, so like I promised, here's an interview I've done with one of my, of my clients. Her name is Dusty, who is currently enrolled in the Mastery. Um, so you can hear from, for yourself what she has to say, what she's gaining from this process, why she decided to join this process, why bother, why now is the right time. Uh, she's going to talk also about the investment and her mindset around this um, and also her message for all of you. All right, guys, let's welcome Dusty. Hey, Dusty, how are you today? 
Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. So before we get started, can you just tell everybody who you are? Uh, maybe talk about who you're married to, uh, talk about your kids. Just give us a little um, introduction to who Dusty is. Sure. Well, my name is Dusty and I am a mom of two beautiful girls, 22 months apart. We're right in the thick of it right now, six and eight. And I'm married to my college sweetheart. Jason is my husband. We've been married for 12 years, um, but in October we will have been together for 22, so a really long time. Um, I'm a really uh, fast-paced professional woman who has been in the advertising career um, my whole career life, uh, so 18 years um, in that space and that space is really fast and that space is very masculine and, and go, 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 go. Um, I'm also the breadwinner for my family. And so there's a lot of, you know, pressure and responsibility to make sure that, you know, things are being taken care of financially. Um, I definitely love nature. I love going on hikes. I live in Colorado, so I'm very blessed to live um, in or near the mountains. I live in the foothills in a beautiful town called Castle Rock. Uh, so I get to get out in nature a lot. Um, I have a fun little neighborhood and a great social life. I really am lucky. I have everything that one would want. I really am lucky that way. That's amazing. I love it. So Dusty, how did you find me? How did you connect with me? I connected with you through social groups that we knew and having opportunities to talk and we connected very spiritually from my perspective. Um, looking back on it now, it was meant to be. Um, but we connected because of your, your love and openness in me being allowed to ask you questions. Asking you questions about, well, I mean, quite frankly, I asked you questions about menstruation. And I didn't even know what I didn't even know until we talked. And once we started talking, and it, and it started from menstruation because I called you, we were texting each other, oh, we were Facebooking with each other because we are Facebook friends. And I asked you the question, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have this huge speech that I'm giving and I'm gonna be on my period, what am I gonna do? And that conversation blossomed into this awareness that I didn't even know because I didn't even know. And from that breadcrumb, I wanted more. I needed more because your guide that, that time helped me. And then that was just one phase of all of it. And I realized that and I wanted more. And so I knew that to have more, I need to invest in myself and I need to invest with the people that are going to be in alignment to help me through this process. And being able to talk to you and make that investment with you was one of the best things that I could have ever done with my life because now I'm learning internally how to work with the universe, to work with the mother of the universe, and to work with myself. And that's what you have really taught me. I love this so much. Thank you. Um, I'm curious. It sounds, it sounds like you are so, it sounds like you are a very, very busy mama. You said you're the breadwinner. I know that, you know, you're, you have a very successful career, um, but I know that you're also very involved in your marriage and in your parenting. So I don't know. I think what I want to ask you is why now? Like why bother? Why now? Yeah. And why bother? Well, why not now is what I'll put back on you is, is if it's not now, then when? If not now, when? And that really is the spark for me that has um, given me the fire to, to invest in myself with coaches is if it's not now, then when will it be? When I'm on my deathbed, when I'm yelling at my kids, I don't want to be, re I was at a point in my life where I was yelling at my kids, where I was feeling like there was a gaping hole, ache and depression. And, and quite frankly, I was suicidal you know, six years ago. And I needed, you know, if not now, when, when I'm dead and on the ground. And, and it was that, that is why now there's never a, a good time. Every time is a good time when you're ready. It's the right time. And if you're ever thinking, is this the right time? Yes, it's the right time. And 
not the right time, then when is the right time? So I, I guess I'm ask, answering the question in a strange way, but for me, there, if not now, when? What, what am, do I want to live like this? If not now, when? And, the, and, and then quite frankly, I wish I would have done it sooner. I wish I would have done this 10 years ago. I'm going to get a cry. I wish I would have done it 10 years ago. Yeah. Thank you, Dusty. Um, I agree. I, I, I'm the same way. Can you talk about um, so many women who really are looking into, you know, investing in themselves, um, they get kind of like turned off by hearing, you know, the, the amount of investment and then they would go, the, you know, they feel like they need to go to their husbands and talk mm. to their husbands. So what I wanted you to share is how, um, how all of this, you know, work that you're doing with me, how is this affecting your marriage? The work that I have with you and work that I've done in the past has made a tremendous impact on my marriage. Um, it's been a very, um, I can't, it would be unfair to say that it's not challenging at times because of the awakening that does happen. And there is this kind of new discovering, at least in my experience of myself. And so of course, as I'm growing and evolving, that's, that's different to people who know me. And it's not even just my husband, it's my coworkers, my friends, even my children, my girls. Um, but with my husband, he will say, I would, I would pay double knowing how much better you are now than when you were. I would pay double. He has literally said those words to me. It wasn't easy at first. It was a very hard conversation at first, but I was so committed and I was so, um, I was so knowing that this is what I needed that I didn't care. Like I'm just doing this and this is what we're doing. And this is the direction I'm going. You can, you can be with me or not. And I don't mean like we were going to have a divorce or anything like that, but I, it, this was something I was doing for myself. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Um, but it's made a great impact on my marriage. I feel more connected to my husband than ever before. I have better words to use in navigating the everyday life with your husband with a masculine and feminine energy where you're just going to have two different conversations sometimes, even when you're trying to say the same thing. So I just have a better understanding of myself, which makes it easier for the whole around me. Right. Mm -hmm. So before you started this process, <clears throat> what did you expect of this to be? Like, how did you see this experience to be? You know, I, I actually, a tough question because I try not to have expectations and just allow and go. Um, I guess I expected uh, with any of this self-discovery that the, the self, um, let me start that again. I think that with the investment in myself, I expected more structure and I expected to be told that this is what it is when really this experience is about here are the tools. And that's almost like an incubator with you in a way. It's like, here are the tools, now grow. And it doesn't matter that my leaf is over here and my flower is over here. It doesn't have to be perfect because and none of us are going to be the same and none of it's going to be. Um, but it, it's a much more free flowing experience than a structured one, which was really wonderful. It's just allowing it to be and allowing it to grow. And here are, you know, a couple touch points, um, and a couple known knowns and we go from there. And again, it's learning about yourself so that you can learn to be better for everybody else as well as yourself. Does right. that make sense? Absolutely. Well, okay. to me, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully for the listeners too. Yeah, I know. Um, oh, yeah. And, then, and then my next question would be from, from, I mean, we still have a long way to go, but from whatever you are learning or, and have learned so far, what surprised you the most about yourself and who you are evolving to? God, I, the first thing that comes up is my soul and this discovery of me this discovering of me and it's almost like de rubbling to get to my inner self to get to my inner soul 
but you've helped me pull back the layers in a physical way that I had never experienced before by understanding how my body was created. I can tap into my soul and hear myself, not my ego self, my true self much better because my main goal is to live in alignment with my soul and be able to live in that essence, not live in my head, not live in my ego. I'd like to crucify my ego and just live and just to be right. And that's what I think the biggest, coolest discovery is, is that by understanding my, my feminine cycle, I can tap into that inner wisdom. And then if with your health coaching with the food, I can eat better to keep those pipes clean. And those pipes meaning from my soul to my brain to my higher self, like I can keep it all cleaned out. And I love that. That like, I, I am so in love with just doing this. Like I didn't know how much, like this is my jam and I didn't even know it. Like that maybe might be one of the bigger things. It's like, we're going to talk about your period. We're going to talk about this. I love it. It's so <laughs> fascinating. And again, it's one of these things I wish I would have known. I can't wait. Well, I'm already doing it. I also wanted to know this because I need to pass this on to my daughters. Mm. I need them to understand that in this patriarchal world, that there's a different way and that this way is actually rising. And I need to help guide them to continue with the legacy and to help fix the generational, you know, hurts that have been going on in my, in, in the feminine line. And so I want to help them. I want to be able to guide them, but I had to help myself first. It's like, put your oxygen mask on first, and then you can help those around you. Health begins with mom. <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, and also in terms of your physical body, can you also talk a little bit about how eating in alignment with your feminine cycle, with your menstrual cycle, how has that changed? Um, and, or maybe, you know, um, or maybe, okay, I'm just going to go with that. How did that, yeah, change, I can, yeah how did that change your life? One of the coolest things was um, as drinking water has made my skin look amazing. I'm just going to start with the basic one. I was, I, was, I was not drinking enough water, even though I thought I was, but just the simple fact of drinking you know, a big glass of water first thing in the morning, I had noticed a tremendous difference in my skin. I'm less wrinkly on my forehead. I have no more of the um, cysty, um, cyst-like... Um, pimples that you get during certain times of the month. I'm not saying it's always clear skin the hundred percent of the time during certain yeah. times, but overall, um, my energy is much better. And I complete, like, again, it's about keeping that clarity. It's my core desire feeling is to be calm, focused and connected. And that focused element is very important with the alignment of the health thing. Uh, the health coaching that you provide. That is, that is critical to all of this. And again, I didn't know until I didn't know. Yeah. But you know, drinking water, I know, I know what people are thinking, but drinking water is so simple and easy. Mm -hmm. Why do you have to pay somebody to do it? Mm -hmm. Well, it's not just about drinking the water and paying somebody to do it because it's also interconnected with the bigger overall picture. So if with health begins with mom, I need to be healthy so that I can show up and be my best self to my daughters, to my husband, to my coworkers, to my clients, um, to my neighbors. Here And if this is the foundation, if I'm just putting crap into my body, or if I'm not giving my body enough, then I'm not going to be enough. I'm not going to be able to give to the people that I want to give to. And so it's not about hiring a coach and having them tell you to drink water. It's so much more interconnected to, to it than just that. It's foundation. This body is my foundation. It is my mountain. This is what it is. And this has to be good so that I can do what I want to do, what I, what I dream of doing. I need that energy. Yeah. And to learn how to create it yeah. and sustain it. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's what's so wonderful about your program is that you start at the foundation and then you guide and help with manifesting my, my goals and dreams that we talk about, you know, and being able to be guided with this is how to, to do this with your body, to be in, in alignment with your body, with the universe, with, with the love. And, and that's, I look at it as foundational and yeah. I didn't have it. And I thought I did, you know, oh, I'm eating snacks. Oh, I'm eating my lunch. Well, it's a little bit more than that. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot more. It's a than lot that. more than that. It's a lot, it's a more, lot than more than that. that. Yeah. 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 I, I love you so much, Dusty. I think you are doing such an amazing, I think you're giving such an amazing gift first and foremost to yourself and, but then to your marriage, uh, because doing this, it's, it's, it's leadership. It's like you said, it's leading. It's, it's, it's like this book by Robin Sharma that is called leader, being a leader without, without a title. And that mm -hmm. is this, this is who we are as mothers. It's tapping into our reserves, into our inner wisdom as women, as creators, as manifestors, but then thriving within it, learning how, and also giving off this energy into the world, right? And I believe that this mm -hmm. is how we heal the world. Mothers yes. are healers. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else that you want to leave the listeners with? I just think don't be afraid to invest in yourself. I think that it's so important. You know, you are what you put your money towards. You are what you spend your time on and put your money where your mouth is, right? And, and maybe that might sound harsh, but if you're spending all your money on Starbucks or on clothes or on wine with your friends, where else could you be bettering yourself with that money? You know, it's it. Where are you investing in yourself? And this stuff doesn't come for free and it shouldn't come for free. You know, you need to pay people what they are worth for their value that they're giving you. And and I, I had a lot of resistance to it. I didn't get it. So I, I understand and can value someone's concern with it. But I will tell you this, it is the best investment I have ever made in my entire life. I've hired a couple coaches and it is by far the best investment. What you put into it is what you're going to get out of it though too. Right. So you have to do the work, otherwise it won't be worth it. You, you have to commit. And right. that money element of it makes you have skin in the game. Yeah. You know? Can you uh, also, actually, I, I, I'm going to bring you a little bit back um, before we are wrapping it up completely. Um, I know that one of the questions that come up in, uh, you know, when I talk to women and one of those points of resistance are, is that the, the program is really, really long. So the six months, oh, can you talk about that? I don't even, well, I might not be the best one for that because I love it. Like I get you <laughs> in such a, like, you're like, you're so, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. This, let me back up. This feels at the timing that it is. And especially being at the point in this, um, that I am with you, this couldn't happen any faster. How could it? There's so much that of the layers that need to be pulled back to embody your, what you're teaching, right? We had talked about this before where it's not just about, I, you can tell me all these things. It's about, you have to tell me these and then we have to go back and work on it. Just like a personal trainer, a personal trainer doesn't just give you, here are your exercises and then never touches base with you. This is an evolution. This is almost, this is a rebirth almost or, or a growth of yourself. And it does, it can't happen overnight. The universe doesn't allow these things to happen overnight. Um, perhaps we all are in two Perhaps we all need to take a hot minute and, and get away from our society and thinking that everything needs to happen like this. It doesn't. And maybe that's part of the thing that you're do, but that you're resisting as a potential client is you need the universe wants you to slow down. You need to slow down so that you can really drink this in. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love how long this program is. I love the individual attention that you give. The fact that you do the one-on-one -on -one coaching, the way that you do it is unlike any program I've ever been in. And that personalization and that connection that I have with you 
is incredible. And it's not just the once a week coaching calls. You're there with, with, with the instant messaging and being able to check in. I'm having, you know, this is going on and you can, you can kind of put me back on my map, on my path of like, yes, that is normal. And here's why. And this is the, what you should do. And this will help go. You know, like you're like a mama bird pushing me out of the nest. Yes, yes, this is hard, but yes, you can do it. You got it. And so, <laughs> the long of the the long of the long is, I wouldn't have it any other way. And I'm I I'm sad that people think that it might be too long. Invite them right. to re- look at it and and look at it as <laughs> it's a practice. Is, it's yeah, and you're there to support. Mm-hmm. That's amazing, Dusty. Thank you so much on thank behalf you. of me. I love you so much and on behalf of all the listeners and um, I'll catch you next time on on our next coaching call. (laughs) Okay. It sounds good. Thanks so much. (laughs) Okay. Thank you for listening to the health begins with mom show. I love hearing from you. So please post your comments and questions over at healthbeginswithmom.com forward slash podcast. If you love the show, please share it on social media and in your real life with other moms who might enjoy this content. And if you have a burning question or topic you'd like me to hit on the show, just drop me a line at dorit at healthbeginswithmom.com. And if you love the show and really want to support it, please go to iTunes, write a review and subscribe. Thank you so much for listening and I'll catch you next time. Much love and many blessings.